Hi, Annika. Thank you very much for welcoming us here and giving us this space. I'm doing very well today. Well, everything is good. Uh, the sprint have been have been amazing so far. It's a uh, very comfortable. Um, Internet's a bit slow sometimes, but they say that's just how Germany is. I'm doing great. Everything here is great. There's so much food and drinks, and it's just awesome. Well, I started working on KDE stuff as a volunteer, and it's just overall an, an amazing way to spend time. And then for me, an opportunity arise to work professionally on KDE as contractor for KDE V, building software platform things there. So that was a perfect opportunity for me to do more of that. And yeah, for me, for, for KDE, that was what I used before and what what were was more catered to what I wanted for a, for a computer desktop. And uh, um when i started to start to contribute the the community was so good that that was very exciting to be a part of that and that has been ever since a uh, good question because i actually love kd like truly i started using it like five years ago i think and i was jumping between desktop environments and then i saw kd i was like okay this is the one and uh, it's the project i actually like the most on the of the open source space so it's the one i try to contribute to i'm working on quinn so the compositor and I'm mostly fixing all the Wayland and GPU-related bugs and implementing the features like HDR and variable refresh rate. At, uh, at the moment, I'm the co-maintainer of uh, Dolphin, the file manager, and I contribute to anywhere and anything where I have inspirations for as well. So, yeah, mostly uh, KIO stuff for uh, file-oriented things, mm -hmm. mostly. Right now, I'm trying to clean up our dependency chains mm -hmm. our, from our internal libraries. So that for Plasma, it's it's a bit cleaner in the future because we're doing also big refactorings there, and also it's for beneficial for other platforms like Android, where we can get rid of unneeded stuff, and Android apps are big enough as it is. Mm -hmm. Um, well, there are a few things I'm mostly uh, working in frameworks regarding the config module mm -hmm. um, logic and I have some big refactorings mm -hmm. and they are in progress and currently I'm working on like, porting all of the Plasma config modules to use this new logic and so far it's working pretty good. Oh yes, uh, it's going very well. Technically, uh, we're getting an enormous amount done. Um, in terms of comfort and ergonomics, these offices are fantastic. <laughs> we're very happy here. Uh, everybody's been so friendly to us and the view out the window is amazing. The cafeteria food is good. There's a 3D printer happily printing behind <laughs> me. So what more could we ask for? Native tiling. So in the last release, we've done a new version of tiling let's say that mm -hmm. it's not quite what you would expect from a real tiling window manager but it's definitely closer to it we don't really have concrete plans for more tiling support but of course we can always improve on the current situation and maybe add new features to it well we, now we have improved quite a lot so the, the idea was to Th that is, uh, Quinn now exposes more features, and uh, we have uh, more uh, feature, uh, more, use more user exposed features for the users, but not uh, advanced like auto organizi organizational of uh, Windows. That's what people would want, uh, what user would want, but we don't expect. Uh, ourselves, I'm, by that I mean uh, KDE uh, contributors and designers to be able to do something that will uh, serve 
fully every use cases. So that's why we have an API that can be reused so that others can build on top of it quite easily. So there are a few users that have started to work on it. So we'll look into that and hopefully some of them work could be upstream later, uh, but we'll, we'll have to see. So about that, uh, you should have probably asked actually the person right before me, Marco, because he was the one working on this. He did a talk about it uh, on the last Academy, mm -hmm. which I've missed. <laughs> and uh, I think now he didn't want to change too much of the API, so that shouldn't change too much. And the theming stuff, so the Plasma style won't change much either. There might be something about SVGs, but that's very technical and under the hood things. So as far as the user goes, it shouldn't matter too much. Use Plasma, it's amazing, and buy tuxedo computers, I guess. 